and good afternoon welcome back today we are going to do I'm gonna be doing the books we read this month I read this month and this one he joined me in my reading quest because we did we did quite a few graphic novels so he, he, he joined me in my reading quest and another reason why he joined me in the reading quest because he told he wanted to he, I asked him if he wanted to read Ready Player One and he said yes he wanted to read Ready Player One and he loved Ready Player One really really well and then he went on and read another um, favorite um, favorite YA book also so I am gonna get to the books I read this month I'm gonna show you all of them right now starting with Ready Player One yes I am <laughs> We enjoyed this book. This book was fabulous for him. It was fabulous for me. The 80s reference was awesome. The author did a really, really good job. He so was in his feelings making it. I could tell he cried a little bit when he made it. Like, he wrote it. You, you were so, you were. What is wrong with me? That he was crying. He was emotional. Why do you think he was? Because that man wrote all of that, and that probably really happened to him in some way or another. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Big. Yes, he looks old enough for it to have happened. I hope he was an eighties baby. He probably was in a some of the games he he spoke about in this, I had forgotten that some of those games came Batman out. Batman came out. He said, "I got." Oh, yeah, yeah. I I have forgotten that's how the games came out. You wrote this book. It was so entertaining. It yeah. was uh, you it's you you were rooting. Ultraman, it's got it's, robots. It's got all. Right. It's got even Tetris. There you go. Tetris. So nice. see how, how well he enjoyed this book. He really loved this book. I read this book as uh, with one of my reading groups on. Facebook also because they were reading it too uh, my reading group from Geeks and Beauty this is the book we read this month they also read the Harry Potter book but I've already read Harry Potter entire series so I up to read this book alrighty the next book that I read he didn't read this one I read this by myself um, Camino Island by John Grisham John Grisham was is a very still a very good author and the way he tells the story so it's basically a really straightforward story about thieves and the, the i'm gonna say thieves and the things they do to each other and to people around them so that's camino, camino island it's not very it's not a very long book it's in the art cover it's just 200 and 290 pages it's just 290 pages even though it's in the hardcover maybe it will be about 300 in the um maybe about 300 in paperback but it was a it was a a good little tale it wasn't anything over the top it was just a good good tale um this was 372 pages that's ready player one Alrighty, let me show you some of the let me show you some of the books the other graphic novel we read this graphic novel is called Daybreak and it's written by uh, I have no idea who wrote it but uh, okay sorry written and illustrated by Jeff Cross Keith Cross sorry Keith Cross uh Day Black Day Black he, he this also man read this has one a very creative life I like his life He's a he is uh he is a tattoo artist with a particular proclivity in that he is a vampire and all he nourishes himself is the blood that comes from the clients when he is doing the tattoo so that's how that goes this next book that we read was ghosted this man was a con <laughs> it's a volume one it's a haunted it's a haunted ice it was written by Joshua Williamson, Goran Saduka, and Miroslav 
MRVA. Marv. Let me see it. It's MRVA. Miroslav M A M R V A. It's uh it's also another ghost book. Miroslav this gentleman um, wanted them to steal a ghost from an haunted house because he needed a ghost for whatever reason. So he hired a team to go into the house and steal a ghost. A team of people he knew. That's the best part. Then this next one is called Chu. And I'm I telling took a you bite out of that book. That, this book is is weirdy in is that he is volume one taster's choice you need to read this book if you <laughs> this is weird it's just a weird book taster's volume one taster's choice and the next book that young man also read was superman this one is a superman that they were turned he turned them into zombie was it zombie or no. ghost he sucked their power he sucked their powers and turned them into Superman wasn't sucking their powers, an evil villain. An evil villain, yeah. He was sucking their powers from them to use their powers against what he claimed to be a greater evil than himself. Okay, that's Superman. And then we, I picked up the Flimstone by Anna Barbara Barbera from the Anna Barbera, Anna Barbera universe, DC. Flimstone. This is volume one. And young man also read this. He said this was funny, very funny. All right. So the next book that young man read was everything, everything. This girl and her mama got some serious. You know, this was just a um a, a motion picture in the theaters recently. So we read the book also. So it's, it's everything, everything by Nicola Yoon. Young man thought it was a good book. It really was. It was a good book. There you go. All right, this is the ones I read by myself. This is Nancy Gideon. Marked by moonlight, they were lovers who feared nothing except each other. Marked by moonlight. Jennifer Estep, Widow's Web. Um, this I I did this in my to be read. I did a thing on it. This is a book I read for my Cosmo Reader Readathon Challenge. Um, pick up a book that you never heard anything about or read about. This is a book on a LARP, and a LARP is live action role playing. And this is a mystery where uh, one of the players was murdered, and one and one of um, the police. Um, inadvertently on their investigation um, got some young people who helped them solve the case met some young people who helped them solve the case so that's on a lap and it's by Stephanie the whole the whole this one I read for a continuation of us of my series read on Goodreads and it's forbidden by LA Banks and it's the Vampire Huntress Legend series, and this is the conti this is a continuation. I read this one also for my Cosmo Readathon, and this one was the was Cosmo Readathon also. And this is the eight you give. This was far view loss. This is uh, she did a really really good job. She didn't um. She didn't focus on the book on what the on the, the 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 person who got who got um, killed. She focused the, the book on the the person who was alive and what was occurring with them. And she told a really good story about life, love, family, friends and um actions and decisions that you make i really enjoyed this book i i really enjoyed this book it's a very 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 good book she did a good job for her first novel this is her first novel and she did a really really good job with this book also reminded me of a young man who did a really good job the author of the warded not the warded man that's an excellent book for us any sci-fi person out there 
excellent book if you want want a recommendation for a sci-fi book uh, or a supernatural whatever but it's a sci-fi book um, book really really good the war dead man and the eight you give by Angie Thomas awesome books by first-time authors awesome book also I made some inroads on my Kindle app I read I'm gonna show you the, the, them on my Kindle app because I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to edit this and put the pictures up the first book up that I read I hope you can see that it's dance right there then the next book on my I read for my Kindle app was the hundred the 100 Queen also I read trapped right there by by crystal digs and i also read first life right there by gina showalter gina showalter is an author i'm gonna mention her because gina showalter is an author who has many different series this is her ya series book this is her ya series book first life and i'm sure the, the follow-up book to it is out already um Trapped by Crystal Diggs is a book. It's a in the book. She it's a in the published book. Uh, what can I say about Trapped? I don't want to say anything about. That's it. It's Trapped. Alrighty. And so I'm starting this series because on my way to 100 books read in 2017, I am at number. Seventy-one. Number seventy-one. I have October, November, and December. I think I should be able to um, knock it off. There are some more readathons coming up, and I have found that when I am doing a readathon, I tend to read at least five books, or five, five or six books over the seven days. So I should be able to knock it right out of the books. Oh, the books that I well, I showed you on my Kindle Dance, the One Hundred Queen, and I didn't show you this one, the Queen's Prisoner. I am reading those. Sorry about that. I'm reading those for a readathon that I'm I am currently doing. I have finished two of them already. It's called the Royal Royalty Readathon, and it's going to be finished ending on uh, this uh, Saturday. So I will be reading more books next month. Yes. And I will be trying I'll try to outdo myself that do you see what books I read this month? Yes! I'll try to outdo myself next month. I really will. Cause there's spook spook spooktober or uh, estober and then there is spookathon um realton. So I I'll, I'll, I'll see if I'm gonna join some of those. Alrighty, so be well, be blessed, read a book, read a book, read a book, read a book, and I will see you next time, and God bless you, be well, be blessed, read a, as many books as you can read. <laughs> oh, if you, oh, so, one more addition. If you want to join our um, a book club on um, Facebook that I'm a part of, it's called Book Borders. And if you'd like to join book that, orders. yeah, Book Borders. And if you'd like to join that book club, please come on over on Facebook and join <laughs> join us. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Word. Word. <laughs>